it's Ken here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the Apple logo that is stuck on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or the iPad running on iOS 5. So this only works on iOS 5. I'm not sure if it works on other um, firmwares. So 5.0 uh, or 5.0.1 or maybe future firmwares maybe. So you can try it out. If it doesn't work, comment below. If it works, I'll um, put a annotation or in the description so you will know. So let's get started. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube actually on how to get rid of the uh, Apple logo that is stuck on your device. But their way is pretty bad. They say that you have to um, restore it. Which is true, but I don't like it because I will lose all my data and all the apps and re-download them again. So it's pretty bad. But this way, my method is very simple. So let's get started. First, you will need to download Red Snow uh, 0.9.9 Beta 6, or I, I will put a link in the description for you to download it. So just open it, run Red Snow and click extras and select IPSW so I'm gonna select 5.0 and click open and there it is identified click OK and click just boot tethered this is basically what you do normally when you close your device when you shut down your device on a tethered jailbreak so just click just boot tethered just boot and you need to go to DFU mode so I'm going to do it right now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 release the power button so I'm pretty sure you know how to do it hold on to the power button and the home button for 10 seconds release the power button and keep on holding the home button so right now it just recognized and it's uploading stages waiting for reboot and just wait for it there you can see the pineapple app, um, logo which indicates that it is successful so you basically just fixed it so now you're pretty much done there you go your iDevice unlocked right there lags a little bit so there it is I just fixed the simple uh, Apple logo stuck on your device. Hope you hope it works on your device. It works on mine. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you um, enjoyed it and hope you find this useful. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and comment down below if it works on future devices, future firmwares or previous firmwares like the 4.3.5, 4.3.3, these ones, uh, if it works, please comment below. And also, favor this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.